I get the fork out of that. At least we got her done. Slay! This is where things get crazy. Good morning, dirty forkers. So the first thing I do when I wake up is 50 push-ups. <laughs> I'm kidding, can you effing imagine? This is the best effing water bottle. I keep it on my nightstand slay, I guess. Lately, this has been my routine. I have been waking up at 6.45. Well, the first alarm goes off at 6.45. My last alarm goes off at 7.15, which means I have to be forking up at 7 15 and i know that in my brain so the 6 45 is like hey you're gonna have to wake up soon but my goal is to wake up like be out of my bed at 7 15 so that means i really need to wake up at 7 to give me myself 15 min minutes to get out of bed because what i've realized about myself when i'm awake i still like to lay and that's when this thing comes to life and it's scary because I'll be up at 7.15, but then I'm like on TikTok and it's like, I'm trying to break the habit. From 7.15 to 8 a.m. is when I have to get ready or me time. I do whatever I can before I have to be out the door heading to my workout class. So the main habit I'm trying to break right now is immediately getting on my phone. I feel like I wanna reward myself in another way, which I'm trying to decide what that could be. When I have a bad habit, I'm like, what can I supplement that habit with something more fun, but that's better for me. Maybe once I'm out of bed, sure, you can look at it, but when you're in bed, you're not allowed to. Like that needs to be my new rule. Right now I'm wearing the Skims PJs. I'm absolutely obsessed with them. They're a little on the pricier side, but they're worth every penny. I love wearing a matching PJ set to bed. Then I get the fork out of bed. I think I'm out of one mulatto. I think you're cooler than gelato. You're the color of the season. Keeping it smooth like legato. Cheers. Something about me is I'm having athletic greens every morning. This is a part of my forking routine. I'm obsessed with it. I swear it has helped my skin. This is not an ad, by the way. Just a huge fan. It makes me feel energized. It makes me feel less bloated. Like I said, it, I swear it's helped my skin. I don't know what it is about it, but I feel it. I get mad when there's a day that goes by that I don't have it. And also I feel like I crave the taste now. By the way, I do not sit on my couch and like look out the window and drink this. I wish that that was my morning, but that's just not the reality. What I am typically doing is running around like a chicken with my head cut off, getting ready while also drinking this at the same time. But I make this first thing in the morning so that I can finish it by the time I'm heading out for my workout. Oh, also, you're probably wondering what the fork is all over my face. It's a clay mask that dries out any active acne spots I have going on. All I do is wash it off in the morning and it slays. So here's the thing. I'm just gonna be so forking for real with y'all. This morning, I'm not actually living the timestamps of this morning routine. I'm telling you the timestamps of what I've done the entire week because I've tried to film this video for an entire week and I'll start filming it and then I'm like, shit, I'm in a rush. So what I thought would be a good alternative is today my workout isn't until noon. So I'm taking my time filming this because I want to get all the angles and the fun, juicy content for you guys. If you want to see what my mornings in like an entire week or like a real life, real timestamps, craziness, not as cool angles, then please let me know in the comments down below. But for now, I was like, I want to be creative. I want to have fun filming this. I don't want to be in a rush. So cheers to being forking for real in 2023. But I literally forking forgot to tell you guys or show you guys me brushing my teeth. I'm so embarrassed. I'm trying to be forking for real and I'm just like literally not. What the hell? This is the toothpaste that I use. Love some Crest 3D White. This is my toothbrush. I don't know what the fork's going on with this little guy. I actually brushed my teeth as soon as I got out of bed. I just forgot. I also, believe it or not, floss. I'm not going to lie, I miss some days, but I feel like lately I've been in a flossing routine. I do not see the beauty gurus out here showing them flossing in their morning routine, and I'm like, are you flossing? Like, scary. People ask me teeth stuff all the time, and 
That's pretty much it. Another thing that's really new to my morning routine is this Apple Watch. I put it on first thing when I wake up because I'm trying to get as many steps as I fucking can because I'm obsessed with the rings. I'm in a competition with my brother and I have to be him. And if you have a sibling, you understand this type of rivalry. It's different than anything else. Any other competition, like you have to be your sibling. By the way, this is the product that I use. It's really good. Mine's like pretty dried out and almost gone. I need a new one. Literally love this thing. There's no rhyme or reason to this. I just am taking water and rubbing it on my face everywhere. And then sometimes I'll do a light cleanse of this Dr. Dennis Gross or whatever cleanser I'm using at the moment. So all the product that was on my face from last night is off and I'm ready to go to the gym. Sometimes I'll do a tiny bit of sunscreen. Like sometimes I skip this when I go to the gym because I'm gonna put it on later in the day and like I do wear a hat almost every day to the gym. The super goop one is definitely my favorite. And then I've been obsessed with this Burt's Bees pomegranate chapstick and it's just like the perfect gym fresh face. Don't forget to keep drinking the Athletic Greens. This is when I normally play music on my Alexa. Right now I'm really into my main character playlist on Spotify. It's called Main Character Shit. On Spotify is a huge hit. It has 595 likes, so clearly people like it. I feel like a secret talent slash fun fact of mine is making very specific, unique playlists on Spotify for specific, unique times in your life. For instance, this main character one is literally like the montage scene in every movie. Some other playlists I do like to recommend are my reverse cowgirl playlist, which is like really good country songs. I also have playlists for podcasts, motivating podcasts, podcasts for your hot girl walk. I feel like my playlists go off, so definitely follow me on Spotify. I will link it down below. So yeah, I normally play music and then this is where I make my pre-workout. She's not perfect, but she's cute as hell. At least we got her done. Now it's time to figure out what the fork I'm going to wear. I haven't worn this in like a week or two. It's one of my favorite workout sets. I need to order more workout sets from Lorna Jane. They just fit me like a glove. Ready? One, two, slay. I look like a workout instructor. I feel like I always feel good in this, even if I feel gross or if I'm on a period or anything. It's just so cute and flattering and it holds the girls in. Like I am coming back to life in a new and improved way. I'm learning a lot about myself right now. I don't know. I turned 25. I had this quarter life crisis. I'm real. 2023 is the year of realizing things. We're all just like realizing things. I feel like I talk about how important it is to go to the gym and how good it is for your mental health, like getting exercise in. But what I didn't realize that is so pivotal for my mental health is not only getting exercise in, but being around other people, period. I am so motivated by others and the presence of others and going to a workout class and having a little bit of a competitive spirit genuinely fuels my fire. My recommendation to you is find a workout class that genuinely makes you wanna get out of bed in the morning. And that might not even like sound in the slightest bit realistic right now for you. We've all had those moments where the gym seems impossible to go to, but you have to start small and you have to try new things to find stuff that you love. Your brain loves when you try new things. I encourage you this week to try something new. Orange Theory, walking, haka walk, 12 through 30. There's so many different forms of exercise. Zumba, tennis. Like, and it literally so many, so many things that I guarantee you can find something that excites you more than anything else has excited you in regards to working out, exercising, going to the gym. And now that I feel like I've conquered this 
F45 thing. I've literally gone every single day this week. I feel literally like a different person. I, I, I know I sound crazy, but it's just the truth. I love that it makes me do crazy like workout moves and weights and shit that I never would do. There's so many different types of like ages and levels of, you know, people who are working out. It's just, I feel like there's no judgment. I also like how there isn't a mirror because I feel like a soul cycle or hot Pilates, like things like that, it's very like, who's here? Who has the cutest outfit? Who has the best body? And at 45, I really feel like no one gives a shit about you or anyone but themselves. That has been like a huge change in my routine because I was going to the gym, but it was just in my building. And I feel like even getting outside and walking outside to a different place, like getting out of your house, is so valuable. So that's why I like put a lot of emphasis on my workout. I literally will like push other things so that I can get my workout in because it keeps me mentally sane. Find what that is for you. Honestly, try F45, let me know how you like it. Um, by the way, this is not an ad or sponsored or anything. I literally pay for every class I go to. I would feel guilty not sharing it because it's just so fun. I feel like a different human right now. I'm feeling amazing and I'm going to hop in the shower and get some work done. I'll stick my head out the window. I'll fly wherever the wind blows. Moon walking over the rainbow. That's just where I'll be. Now, this is where things get crazy. Make coffee while I'm thinking in my head what I'm going to wear. Then I'm also doing my skincare and getting ready for the day and also thinking about what I'm gonna say, whether it's going to my podcast, going to work. Now that I'm home and I'm showered, I'm thinking about work. Literally love a dance break when it's spraying everywhere. I have so much time to clean it up. This is embarrassing. I don't usually do this. This doesn't normally happen on dance breaks. This shit's gas. You need it. You know what's even better though? The Miss Remy Ashton three pack. Available on, I think, notpods.com and Amazon. I don't know, I'll link it below. Hell yes. So I have a podcast today. Actually, I have two. Recording a crossover episode. I'm so excited for you guys to see the series. This is what we're twerking with currently. This little vitamin C daddy. This moisturizer. It smells like cucumbers. Glow screen again. Also, by the way, I only wash my hair like once, maybe twice a week. So I just body showered and literally washed my body and washed my face. So my showers are speedy. Then these... Drunk Elephant tanning drops that are amazing. This is my new favorite eye serum product thing. The Clarins Total Eye Lift. I feel like it's the only eye cream that I'm like, holy shit, like this is doing something. And then more Burt's Bees. Now time for glam. This is what my realistic vanity looks like. What a day, feeling good. This is the final glam. We are ready to podcast, baby. I just gotta do my hair and find an outfit. This is what I picked out to wear. I thought it would look good on camera because blue, I feel like, looks good on me. <laughs> I also wanted to be confident and comfy, so I feel like this is a good fit for podcasting. I'm just wearing these good American jeans. They're my favorite jeans in the world. Uggs and sweatshirt from White Fox. I just need to fix my hair and then we will be good to go. Living Proof Dry Shampoo, definitely my favorite. A little bit of Living Proof Volume Spray. Now all I do is brush it out. I've been using less and less heat on my hair lately and I feel like it's been serving me well. What I've been doing is giving my hair like a non-blowout blowout look. So I'll just take big sections with a big curling iron. This is like a 1.75 inch from T3 and then literally just like curl the pieces, specifically the end of the hair. Imagine me having short hair, crazy. I'm really gonna focus on the end here. So even that, like 
is so pretty. If you want more of like a full blown curl, you're more than welcome to do that. I just like the blowout look right now, but sometimes that gives it a little more body. I'm not even kidding you, this takes me like less than two minutes. It's like a big chunk of hair. Like this is like the majority of my hair. I mean, the side's literally done. Now, the heat of the bangs, what I've been doing is curling them actually inward instead of outward. And it has that like cute face framing look. Once they're brushed out and like they chill, it looks really cute. I've just like been in my like classy, preppy, clean girl aesthetic. I feel like this hair is definitely that vibe. Nothing makes me feel like more girly or put together than a blowout. So the fact that I've like hacked the system to a blowout is crazy. I will say though, if you don't have a big curling iron, I don't think this would work as well. Give it one last curl at the bottom. See, it's like my whole side of hair. Cute! Like not bad, right? It's good enough because I have to go. That's a vibe. So for breakfast, what I've been doing is basically rotating between avocado toast and eggs or oatmeal. Since I've implemented weight training into my workout plan and whatnot, I definitely am more hungry and feel like I need more substance than just like a smoothie, especially oatmeal with like frozen blueberries and I add chia seeds, flax seeds, sometimes protein powder, peanut butter. Like I, I spice it up with a ton of things. Today I am feeling avocado toast with an egg. Yesterday I had oats before my podcast and I felt amazing. So I'm gonna whip that up really quickly and then head out the door because I am in a hurry, but I love you guys and I hope you enjoyed this morning routine. Don't forget to subscribe to my podcast channel. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I've been posting like crazy over there. I love you guys so much and be sure to make someone's day this week. Peace.